Welcome back to the channel and welcome into the shack. It's been several months since I last uploaded. Um, this is just a bit of an intro into the next video. The video I've done now is already there, ready to go. So this is going to be a bit of an intro. Um, this is going to be part two of testing the uh, Moonraker TXHF6 disco antenna. Moonraker have since released a uh, element orientation layout. Uh, that wasn't available at the time I purchased, but uh, I decided to uh, go to my parents' uh, house in South Wales uh, and take this along with me. Um, I did a bit of FT8 in the day, had a lot of commitments, but had a planned QSO on 40 metres. I managed to get it tuned, uh, a very narrow part of the band, uh, so it is very tight. Um, but I managed to have a, a QSO with uh, G4ISN back here in the Midlands from, from South Wales. Uh, so uh, there is some additional testing using the MFJ antenna analyzer, which you'll see. So I'm just going to say uh, I'm hoping to get back and do it a bit more regular content. And happy belated New Year. So sit back, relax and enjoy and uh, speak to you all soon. Welcome back to the channel guys for part two having a look at the uh, TX HF6 uh, disco style antenna from Moonraker. Um, since making the last video Moonraker have since released a layout in relation to the orientation of the elements and I've set this up to that. And I'll just show you that now on my iPad. So there you go there that's the way I've got it set up using those bands and there's the choice of eight bands you can use uh, obviously using six of those so I've set it up to that configuration there so I'm going to do some testing uh, with my MFJ antenna analyzer and see what readings I get I'm not holding out big hopes uh, because I've just set it up to the, the lengths as per the instruction and I know that height uh, and location will have uh, some influence on, on the readings themselves so there may be some fine tuning to do but I don't want to spend all day trying to uh, perfect it, uh, I just want to just do a, an honest review. I've actually put some cable ties uh, on the elements there, that's to stop uh, uh, because of where I am, uh, as I've said, I'm in, in, in Wales, uh, at my mother's house, there's bird feeders down the back, and I don't want big fat pigeons landing on uh, those radiating elements. Um, it's quite a small thread, I think it's an M5 that goes into the crown, or an M4 possibly, um, I couldn't tell you, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, so this is just temporary, I have brought with me a very large, um, this will go up to about uh, 35 feet, so... I've just got it uh, here at the moment at an ideal height so I can just stand on the bench and set the uh, the element lengths up. So anyway, let's go into the uh, temporary shack and see what readings I get at this height uh, and this current location uh, on the antenna analyzer. Just a word of note, take your measurement from where it leaves the coil, not from there. The instructions aren't quite clear, but... Um, the instructions are perceived, you take the measurement from that join there, but it's not, it's from the actual, where it leaves the coil. Right, the antenna analyzer is connected. Uh, I'm gonna keep this raw and honest. Uh, as I've said, I've set the, the elements up to the lengths recommended in the instructions. And as before, no height and location of the antenna can have some influence on um, the SWR reading. So anyway, let's uh, start with uh, 3.5 megahertz, uh, 80 meter band. As you can see there, it's not looking too good at all at the moment. Um, we need to agree that this antenna is a compromise. Um, anyway, three point up to 3.8, let's see. Okay, some of it's mm, very tight cue there. See the lowest reading we get. 3.6, 3.64. Okay, just some fine tuning there. 
So if there's a particular part of this band that, uh, that you like, probably the data portion, then um, obviously this uh, antenna would be of some use. Right, let's go to 40 meters, seven megahertz. We're starting at seven megs dead. Okay, I'm not looking too good, up to 7.2. Again, some fine tuning. Um, just wonder where it is resonant at the moment. Um, okay, that's six point. Yeah, six point six six. Okay, some fine tuning there. Okay, let's go on to the next band. Uh, Ten megahertz. 30 meters, that's a very tight band that is. Um, is that 10? 10.1? 10 10 okay. Let's see if it goes up to 150. Again, some fine tuning. Uh, Let's go on to uh, 17 meters, 18 megs. Need to be what, 18068, if I'm not mistaken. 18068. It's where the band starts anyway, which is the CW portion and then on to data then SSB up to 168 again that's not too bad usable something an internal tuner would be able to deal with that so the next band will go to 10 meters which is 28 28 megahertz sort of start at Again, usable up to, what, 29.7. So it is dropping. Okay. Again, some fine tweaking. And the last one is uh, six meters, 50 megahertz. So that band is at 50 to 52, I believe, 50, sorry about this, 50, 1.5 to 52. Okay, that's looking promising, that's pretty well tuned. So the bands that are of some disappointment based on where it's located and its height um, isn't a surprise to me. Uh, but what I will do now, I will um, go on air and put it to test. I'll probably spend another 20 minutes just trying to do some fine tuning and see what happens when I put it at some height. I do have an aluminium telescopic um, pole. I could probably put it up to 30 feet if I wanted. But um, anyway, let's see and um, see what contacts can be made. I'm just doing a bit of FT8 while I wait for my uh, phone planned QSO uh, on 40 meters. Um, as you can see there uh, on 17 meters at the moment running five watts. Cool, already had a QSO uh, on FT8 into Italy. I'll just show you the PSK reporter map. There you go. Um, in the first five minutes so yes yeah, not doing too bad so uh, ideal if you're going to do a bit of FT8 uh, or you just want it for digital modes a nice compact stealthy uh, style antenna so uh, I'll come back to you shortly let's 
Whiskey One Hotel a Kilo Oscar Portable G4 ISN. You receiving over? Yeah, I'm actually using the um, the antenna I'm testing now, so uh, I'm pretty impressed with that now. Uh, obviously, it was band conditions. I'm running about 80 watts, so I'm getting you uh, 5 and 5 uh, on the meter. Um, so I don't know how I'm coming across to you, over. G4 I send, did you see my last over? Yeah, I'm on the HF6. Um, you actually peaked to five and nine there, Andy, over. Yeah, uh, my I'm probably about 1.7 to 1 at the moment. Uh, I've got no tuner, so they the antenna itself took some real uh, tight tuning. Um, it's hit and miss. Doesn't give me a lot of um, space uh, to sort of um, unless I'm using an external tuner, Andy. So um, yeah, it's a, the SWR at the minute. It's about a 1.7 to 1 at the moment. I'm running 80 watts. Um, and I'd probably like to probably bring that down, Andy. I'd probably drop it to 50 and see if you can still hear me. Uh, yeah, I'm just fading out towards the end there. Um, did you say you're going to drop it down to SFD? Uh, yes, uh, to Whiskey One Hotel, Kilo Oscar Portable. Yeah, on uh, 50 watts now, Andy. The, uh, over. Yeah, you're uh, still coming through about 5x8, 58, um, on, on the meter, but I've got, I've got the noise floor about uh, 7, so you're coming above the noise floor at the moment, uh, Jason, over. Yeah, that's, um, I'm pretty happy with that, uh, took a bit of work, but uh, it does work. Um, I'm getting a bit of splatter, a bit of noise uh, every now and again. Um, uh, plus 20 plus 40 db just uh, must be some local interference just every now and again uh, over Yeah, I'll stand by. Give me a shout uh, when you're on over. Yeah, we're receiving you. Probably a five and six. Probably peaking at a five and seven, Andy. Uh, as an average, probably a five and five. I'm running thirty watts now. I don't know how you're receiving me now, over. Yes, I've uh, just wound it back up to 60 whiskies now, Andy. So, uh, yeah, that's good then. So, it, uh, the patience paid off in the end of it. Are you trying to 
on the uh, other antenna uh, at all uh, on this one now. You mean swapping it for the uh, Diamond BB7V? Uh, I haven't set that up now. I've just got the uh, the one I'm testing, the uh, the Disco uh, style one uh, of a. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's uh, that's good. Okay, I don't 